Welcome to the Healthy Care Channel. Today, we're diving into the world of lymphocytopenia, a condition that impacts your immune system by reducing the number of white blood cells. Let's explore the causes, symptoms, and treatment options for lymphocytopenia. What is lymphocytopenia? Lymphocytopenia occurs when your blood lacks a sufficient number of white blood cells, specifically lymphocytes. These cells play a crucial role in protecting your body from infections. A deficiency in lymphocytes increases the risk of infections, making it essential to understand the condition. Lymphocytopenia can manifest as either a short-term or long-term condition, depending on its underlying cause. While mild cases may resolve without treatment, more severe cases require medical intervention and specific treatments. Causes of lymphocytopenia Lymphocytopenia can arise from various causes, insufficient production, when your body fails to produce an adequate number of lymphocytes. Destruction of lymphocytes, even if your body produces enough lymphocytes, they may be destroyed prematurely. Trapping in spleen or lymph nodes, lymphocytes may become trapped in the spleen or lymph nodes. Lymphocytopenia can also be a byproduct of other diseases, either inherited or acquired. Inherited conditions like DeGeorge anomaly, ataxia telangiectasia, and Wiskett Aldrich syndrome are rare but potential causes. Acquired conditions, developed during one's lifetime, may include AIDS, steroid therapy, blood cancer, chemotherapy, or autoimmune disorders. Symptoms of lymphocytopenia Interestingly, lymphocytopenia typically presents no noticeable symptoms. Diagnosis often occurs during tests conducted for other conditions. If you experience persistent or unusual infections, your doctor may recommend further investigation, leading to a potential diagnosis of lymphocytopenia. Diagnosing lymphocytopenia Diagnosing lymphocytopenia involves analyzing test results, conducting a physical exam, and reviewing medical history. Since the condition itself is asymptomatic, doctors may perform blood tests for other conditions, such as AIDS. If unusual or persistent infections are present, specialists like immunologists or hematologists may be consulted to identify the underlying cause. Treatment for lymphocytopenia Treatment for lymphocytopenia depends on its severity and the underlying cause. Mild cases may not require treatment, but infections should be addressed promptly due to the compromised immune system. For those with blood or inherited diseases, alternative treatment options may be explored. Ongoing research is investigating methods to increase lymphocyte count, with blood and marrow stem cell transplants being considered for severe cases. This procedure holds promise in treating conditions causing decreased lymphocyte counts. Risk factors for lymphocytopenia Several conditions elevate the risk of developing lymphocytopenia, blood cancer, autoimmune diseases, infectious diseases, example. AIDS and HIV, inherited conditions Additionally, individuals undergoing chemotherapy or radiation for cancer treatment face an increased risk of lymphocytopenia. Preventing lymphocytopenia prevention varies based on the cause. If lymphocytopenia is due to an inherited disease, prevention may not be possible, but control measures through prescribed medications are essential. Early diagnosis plays a pivotal role in managing lymphocytopenia. Newborn screenings in the U.S. aim to identify conditions that may lead to lymphocytopenia, enabling early intervention to prevent future complications. If you experience persistent or recurrent infections, consult your doctor promptly to address potential underlying issues. In conclusion, understanding lymphocytopenia empowers individuals to take charge of their health. Stay informed, stay healthy. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content on the Healthy Care channel. Thank you for watching.